Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 15D. The question says create a spreadsheet with the file gym.csv. Validate the cells in rows 2 to 30 of the month column. Alright, so uh, let's go and open gym.csv first of all. Uh, so I'll go to my source file. I want to open this uh, gym.csv. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to save the uh, the file as a Excel worksheet. So I need to save it in um, worked folder. Okay, so I want to save it as task 15D. Task 15D. Okay. Now. We want to validate from the question. We want to validate this uh, this column, right? The month column, so that it only accept numbers between one and uh, twelve. So this is similar to what we did in task fifteen uh, C on access. Okay. So what you want what you want to do is actually to uh, select from two to let's say thirty uh, C two to C. 30 or 31 let me just look like that now you want to go to data you want to go to validation data validation excuse me so this um icon might look different from yours so from of course you're going to get it from data tools so i'll click on this arrow data validation now uh from the settings tab here i want to choose whole number because i want whole number there and then the minimum number has to be one and then of course the maximum has to be two because the month of the year runs from month one to twelve all right um input message um i'll there's no input message because i don't want any you know whatever you go into that cell the messages you want to see will, will go in here we're not interested in that so but we're interested in the error message so you can choose the error style if you want it to be warning or you want it to be information sorry information I normally leave it as stop okay so the title of the um, error message I always like to put oops something like that or sorry whichever one okay uh, you can say data invalid uh, invalid um, imputes imputes number whole number let me say whole number between uh, 1 and 12 something like that so you can actually have your own type of uh, error message you want it to appear so data invalid input whole number uh, between 1 and 12 okay so I think I'm good with that so I'm gonna okay that right so anytime you are entering the next record right and then you want to if you have a number in here between one and zero it's going to accept that so let's assume i want to put something like uh, let's say uh, so the 12 the 12 is already an extreme data so let me put a normal data okay so let me put like uh, two it's going to accept that let me put something like abnormal let me put 13 and then see what happens so as you can see oops data invalid impute whole number between 1 and 12 so you're going to see that it's not it's not going to accept a number here um a number that's outside the uh valid number right good so i think uh that answers that question okay so we're able to validate that uh column right from uh, column two to sorry yeah from um, uh, C2 to C31 if I'm not mistaken okay so that's how you validate uh, a cell or range of cells or something like that all right so thank you so much for watching this I'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe and share the video and also like the video thank you see you in the next one bye